I'd like to introduce and welcome Taras. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Eleni. Hello, everybody. So good to see everyone. Hey, so many beautiful, familiar faces. Welcome. And I'll let you take over. So I'm really excited about this activation here today. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll go over a little bit about myself so that you understand. I'm a spiritual uh, regression hypnotherapist. So um, mostly all my work is by healing the spirit and subsequently um, you will heal the body, the mind. And that's been my approach. Greg McHugh's book on the new regression therapy, that was like a key book of mine that changed my focus. And doing Howard Beatty's spiritual journeys, I came across his place in the spiritual realms in the sixth dimension, which is a many roomed place. It's there to heal the heart. So it's in alignment with this heart abundant circle because all the work I do is in healing the heart and mending the relationship with the divine. So let me tell you a little bit about this hands of compassion meditation. And so it kind of happened because I had a gentleman from Ukraine. He was visiting with me. I had opened my, my home to Ukrainian refugees. And so he, was, he decided to go to a church across, across the river from me, a nice walk. And I kind of joked to him, well, Jesus comes to me on my couch. I kind of gave him that joke. And sure enough, while I'm meditating on the couch, I received this revelation of, of um, uh, meditation, um, uh, compassion, and activation that I need to share. And it's to share with everyone. And it's extremely powerful. I'm a Reiki master, and you will be amazed by the power of this activation. It's called, he asked me to call it the hands of compassion, and I'll explain to you how it's used and how you should use it and, and so forth. Um, the key thing here is you will receive an activation, meaning you will have that eternal memory of how this thing works. And then I'm going to give you the instructions on how you apply it and how you should use it. So you can use it as a hypnotherapist. You can use it as a Reiki master. You can apply it in, in order to open up compassion energy. And what he shared with me is that once you open up this dam of compassion, then the healing will follow. So it's like breaking that dam of energy, of emotion to permit it to come through. And whenever um, Jesus comes through, that's what I feel. It's this amazing sense of compassion. Now, I'm going to go into the specifics. Could you please, everybody, put on your video? You will have to, I'll have to be watching everybody. So during this session, you, you, all, your, all your videos have to be on. I have to see a person, not a picture. I can't see flowers. I have to actually see a person. I'm paying attention to your eyes. I'm paying attention to your breathing. And you can't do this sitting up, okay? So if you're sitting up uh, in a chair, um, I won't be able to help you because I don't want to take the liability. We're going down into the Esdale state. You will fall off your chair, okay? That's how deep you're going to go. Okay, so I'm going to be taking you down into the Esdale state. So I'm talking to you, Jen. I'm talking to you, Rolf. If you have a place where you can sit back and get comfortable, that's you need a place to support your head. It's very important that your head is supported. Okay, so um, there's Susan and Persis that we don't have any video on. I want to make sure you guys are safe. Can you please put your video on? Jen Haldane. Also, okay, and also I saw somebody driving a car, so I'm a little concerned about <laughs> me putting somebody in hypnosis while they're driving a car. Please do not operate machinery while we're doing this activation. You should not be operating any sort of machinery because you will definitely drive off the road. Can I just make a, a note um, for those who cannot lie down because they are driving a car or whatever, you will get a recording and you can do this later on in your own time while you're lying down. But if you're here now, now you need to be lying down and with your head supported. Yeah. Vanetta's got the idea, Leanne, yay. <laughs> Great. Great. Everybody, Tony, perfect. Um, Nicole, find, if you could find something to support the back of your head. It's important yeah. to do that. Same thing with you, Kate. That's very important. There's other, another thing that I want to mention. So I, want, I don't want you to be concerned that you don't know how to do it. So, you're, so we're actually, with the recording, we're going to send you instructions. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
So you're going to receive instructions with the recording. So you don't have to remember anything from a conscious point of view and write anything down. You, will, re you will receive the instructions to do with your clients as well later on. Okay. So you don't need pen and paper. You don't need to write anything down. No pen and, and paper, no drinking, no nothing. You're not going to be able to even lift up your hand. Okay. So the key here is we have to go very deep in order to go very high. And one thing I'd like you to do is to allow this to happen. Okay. No expectation, nothing, just an open mind and a childlike curiosity. That's all I'm asking from you. And um, I wanted to ask within the group, Eleni, are you familiar with anyone who's a very good channeler within this group? Is there anyone who channels very well? um it if, if lisa was in the group it would have been her but she's not in the group does does anybody channel well can they put their hands up ralph okay. is sort of ralph? okay ralph so if like... you could if if you could maybe unmute ralph okay and that way when we get to the spiritual realm um I am not there to just lead it with what I see. So if anybody else has visions, uh, sees there might be a message, please, um, mm. you'll, you'll realize the, the time to talk. You'll get that nudge and, and the floor is yours. Okay. So, so let me explain what we're doing first. Okay. Any other channelers, anybody want to try or have you tried? Okay. Tony, can you unmute Tony, please? Okay, and just let's just check your microphone. Tony, can you say a few words? Hello, so can, can you hear you? me? Perfect. Okay, and Ralph, can, can I hear you? Hello from Arizona. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So, so let me explain kind of how it's going to work. Um, first of all, we're going into a very deep state. We're going into the theta state uh, via an Esdale induction. And then we're subsequently going to the spiritual realm. I'm asking for protection. We're traveling then to the temple of divinity. You'll have a chance to experience the temple of divinity in the temple of divinity. That is where the activation will happen. Uh, the largest group so far I've done is eight people. These are students of mine that assisted me in writing up this um, the activation protocol, which we're going to be sending out with your recordings. So how does this work? You'll find out kind of there, you will be activated. So in the past class, what happened is they received these golden crowns and it was just absolutely amazing. It's, it's one of the most spiritually uplifting experiences that you'll ever have. Okay. Um, and I'm not saying I've had quite a few, but that one was definitely amazing. Um, if you just after the sessions and everything, if you guys ever want to uh, learn more about this place, if you want to work with me, I'm always open working with people. So uh, the big sorry, message so, of, sorry, Tadas, Francis just came in. Francis, you need to be lying down with your head supported and no pen and paper required. We're going to send you all the notes that you require. Mm -hmm. And I still can't see Katerina. Why is she hiding? Katarina, that's okay. Have... She's she's driving, so okay. that's yeah. She's driving, okay. so she can't so do please, it now. She, she'll do the yeah, recording. Please, now. I'm just concerned that you. She won't do it. Katarina call. won't do it. No. Okay. Very good. Okay. Wonderful. Tracy's very comfortable. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we we're going to go to the Temple of Divinity now. The other thing is, if um, I'm going to keep you bubbled. Okay, I work with an eight dimensional being called Jonathan Davies and the unity bubble. So we're going to bubble all you guys together so that we can travel and we travel together. Okay, so now if you get the nudge, because the Temple of Divinity has, we've discovered over 68 different rooms, and you happen to go to a different room or whatever, that is fine. I'm not going to marshal you all together. We're going to give you as much of an experience of, of this as possible. Afterwards, we're going to come down. Um, we're going to then practice. And so uh, I explained to Eleni that it's good to, after you receive the activation, to, to practice it. So we're going to try to put you guys into groups. Somebody's going to be the sitter um, uh, experiencing it. And the other person is going to be sending the energy because you can do this via distance. And it doesn't matter where you're located. 
you'll be able to do this via distance and you'll go you'll have that aha moment like oh my god i i just did it um and then subsequently please uh, you know keep in touch with me i'm very curious as to how this is progressing i have done this uh, via distance i've done this in person i've done this via zoom i've done this while my i've gone to to the spiritual realm myself and i've done this just straightly from just very similar to the reiki not even going to the spiritual realm and just going into the frequency that we have so we're just waiting for francis to get comfortable isn't it nice when you come in late i'm going to make fun of you okay <laughs> And I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. So I'm so sorry okay. for being late. Yeah, if we can just get that, that uh, camera so that I can see your face, it's important for me to watch your face and breathing so that I can get a sense of your face and your breathing so that I know that you're in a deep hypnotic state. Yes, take off your glasses. You're not going to need your glasses. The main thing. And what do you think of my hypnotic voice? Give me a thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> I put myself to sleep. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay. It's the best. So, it's the best, Taras. <laughs> what's that? It's the best hypnotic voice. It's really good. Thank, thank you. Yes. Put it just a little low, Francis. You need something to support your head. Please. You can't. You have to put your camera. So put the camera just low. And lie on the bed. I've and got the PC. See, and... Um... Yeah, just put it so that it's on an angle going down or like put a book under it. Okay, okay it's as perfect. Lie in the bed, <clears throat> mute yourself off and just listen to my voice. Awesome. That's all I need. Yeah, that's even better, Greg. Go to the bed. Yeah, why sit in the chair? Yeah, I'll, I'll see that. That's perfect, Greg okay we're good to go wonderful well thank you very much everyone for joining me um uh, th it, to be honest it this is such an honor this this is such an honor and privilege to participate with this okay so <clears throat> what we're going to do is first of all you guys can all close your eyes and i'm going to ask you to open your eyes like a yes with three with your heart's reply when you're ready and you don't have to verbalize this but i wonder will you permit yourself to fully enjoy this experience and when you feel that yes just open your eyes and then close your eyes again and are you ready for something new and open your eyes again if you're okay with that and then one more time, closing your eyes, go within and opening your eyes with your heart's reply. May I also join you on this journey. Good. I'm truly honored and grateful to join you now. And close your eyes and go within. So we're going to begin with this deep cleansing breath at your own pace. Because you're permitting yourself to take a deep breath in through your nose, all the way down and into your belly. You're breathing in love, grace and ease, allows you to release all limitations, pains, worries and frustrations. Breathing in relaxation through the heart, allowing a deep sense of calm to flow in with your breath all the way down to the soles of your feet releasing all resistant energy to letting yourself fully experience relaxation with your breath and you're releasing it into the ground until you are fully and deeply rooted relaxed and ready and because you continue to breathe into the ground your feet are now growing roots and these roots are spreading down and down deep into the earth and they grow thicker and stronger and longer and longer and your roots are reaching all the way down to the center of the earth and when you have anchored them into the crystalline core of the earth just 
take a nice tug just to feel what they're anchored to and feel that true connection to the earth's core. And now with your feet solidly connecting to the earth, just imagine you're standing at the top of a broad valley and you're overlooking a beautiful scene and it's a lovely day and the breeze is lightly cascading over your shoulders and you feel the golden light of the sun behind you and it's shining on the valley with its healing energetic rays of love and gratitude. And I'm inviting you to be fully experiencing this. And I want you to start becoming one with all of your senses. Open more fully with vivid clarity. And what do you see at the top of the valley? You might see the sky. Can you feel the warmth of the sun? Can you hear the slight breeze? What about feeling the earth beneath you? Maybe your shoes are off and you can feel the grass under your feet. How does it make you feel? The sun's love and light is curiously opening your heart to this adventure. Listen with all of your senses as the breeze carries information to your heart, allowing your eyes to take in the sounds through color and form, smelling and tasting the sound, carried in the wind by this golden light. It activates a memory encoded in your heart and it's linking you forever to your eternal soul within the spiritual realm. We're rediscovering your connection and this journey is your right. It's a journey back home, a journey into your pure heart. Back into wholeness and divine love, where you will reconnect and turn on your spiritual Wi-Fi. And this is done with your complete support. This is simply a guided meditation. You are in control, divine connection, guides, leading us like a gossamer thread, spirit whispers, and consider me a witness to the sacred journey, if you will. I'm here to support and accompany you. And whenever you do anything like this, you will always be wonderfully relaxed. You're <laughs> fully rested and at ease when you awaken. And as you listen to your heart and focus on my voice, any noises within the room or noises outside of the room allow you to relax more deeply knowing they're just ordinary noises. And while these ordinary sounds let you know you are safe, they will just flow right through. They'll flow right through and fade away. And now as you bring your awareness to the bottom of the valley, you sense a path inviting you to a special place. And it's drawing you deep within because it is the deepest and the safest place, and it's reconnecting you with your inner knowing and wisdom. And as you are moving forward and remembering now, you're noticing that the pull is stronger, and it beckons you forward with sureness. You're feeling the path, because you, the ground beneath you is softly reassuring your smooth descent. Each step, peace and ease expands and deep relaxation is spreading through your body, bringing you closer, increasing sensations of peace. And now relaxation is flowing down through the top of your head, creating a wave of tranquility, sending all tensions down and out of the soles of your feet, neutralizing them within the earth. And with each step, what you assume to be your most relaxed state doubles more deeply, permitting you to welcome new feelings of comfort and safety, pulling you into your special place. And it's been so long since you have felt this calm and serene. So the steps needed to reach your special place are simply disappearing. Fully relaxed and at peace, 
and you are there now. And just feel what it feels like to be there now. Wonderful. You're doing so well. What does this magical place look like? Take a look at your special place. And while you're looking at it, you're noticing an opening or a doorway. How does it appear to you? Now, as you enter, you decide to enter into your special place and you notice a hallway which you effortlessly glide into. And, and there's a relaxation room, a relaxation room down this hallway that's beckoning you. It is your special relaxation room. And you feel it with your heart. And you just open the door. It's a place within your heart that accesses your deepest and most relaxed state. Are you ready to become even more relaxed? Now, you notice that this room is a very welcoming color with your very favorite chair. And this chair is so comfortable because it adjusts automatically to you. And upon the arm of the chair, a relaxation dial appears. And on this dial, you can notice the words relax with positions marked deep, deeper, and deepest. And you can become more relaxed because as you turn this dial, you are filled with peace. And as you wonder what wisdom and knowledge you can discover, you're turning this dial from deep to deeper, and you can start noticing how your whole body just shifts and relaxes automatically. A wave of relaxation flows from the top of your head and down your body. And because you're noticing this wave of relaxation, it grows thicker and thicker, growing in intensity, letting you wonder how much deeper is deeper. So you turn the dial again. Relaxation is moving softly, peacefully, and safely through you, allowing your eyelids to become heavier and heavier, and your facial muscles soften, and your jaw may even drop open and just let go. And your shoulders release because you are completely supported. And you're permitting yourself to turn this dial again, letting your muscles go limp, immobile, as if you couldn't move them if you wanted to, because you don't really want to, since it is so relaxing to just let go. And it's been so long since you have let yourself feel this way. And you wonder what peace will come over you. And as you move the dial to the deepest setting, now aligning your body to the depths of relaxation, safely, easily, and peacefully. Peace is completely washing through you. You are completely relaxed, totally still allowing your mind to stay focused on my voice. You're hearing every word. And this feeling is amazing. And I haven't done anything. You've done this all by yourself. You have taken yourself deeply into self-hypnosis. So let me give you a few moments to feel this wonderful state. And please put this feeling into your eternal subconscious memory. It's just an amazing feeling. And because you are in your relaxation room, you're deeply relaxed. And a shimmering bright white light now is now permeating the whole room. And the room is aglow with a powerful white light. And it's surrounding you and filling you with comfortable knowing. You are safe and protected because you feel it and you hear it. And it's softly surrounding you, supporting you. And this room is so comfortable. Now the chair is fully reclining. 
into your favorite style of bed automatically. You just lay back and let go in this beautiful room designed perfectly for you with all of your favorite color, a room where you can just be you and relax deeply, free of all expectations because you are safe and secure now. Noticing you're feeling suddenly lighter while your body's resting comfortably and your ego mind is completely at ease. So let's give it a few moments to sink right in. You're allowing feelings of love and gratitude to expand within your heart. You're spiraling this love and gratitude into a golden silken thread. You're spinning and weaving this golden thread completely, surrounding your body and your ego mind. You're enclosing and embracing yourself in a golden cocoon of love and gratitude. And you're allowing your spirit body, the body you travel in your dreams with, to grow lighter and lighter. And you're permitting beautiful sensations of complete love, gently pulling you towards source. Total love, compassion and wholeness, divine communion and fun, recalling your childlike wonder and innocence with grace and ease. So you're feeling your ethereal dream body just peel away. You're floating and rising up beyond density, just like when you dream. You're allowing your physical body and your ego mind to rest peacefully and soundly in this golden cocoon. And within that safe, still space within your heart, you're freely floating higher and higher up into your spiritual realm because your ego and your physical body are safe and sound in this cocoon. You're experiencing expanding and exploring and you're able to feel yourself become lighter and lighter you're perceiving new thoughts and ideas in this new perspective you're releasing you from expectation and limitations it's aligning now with your greatness and your potential you're gently rising still higher and higher and expansive love is now pulling you in appropriately it is growing and inviting. You feel it surrounding you. It's expanding you and it's loving you. And this love is bringing you higher and higher to your spiritual realm of healing and unity. We're nearly there now. We're feeling love's awareness and expansiveness, welcoming you with open arms and total acceptance. And it's embracing you completely and it's supporting you with serenity. And you're there. So just be there now in this elevated perspective, knowing your worth, feeling your own divinity, connection to this total acceptance and complete love and permitting it to transfuse into your very being, every cell and particle, love's complete knowledge, wisdom, and awareness. You're uploading it now. You are receiving updates and activations. And let me give you a moment to enjoy and process this glorious nature of pure love. We're fully supported in expansive love here. We are in the spiritual realms. And just, just so that I know that you're here, the ones that I have unmuted their microphone, if you're here now, you're ready to explore, just tell me by saying okay. 
Okay. Good, thank you. So before we travel, we have to always do three things that we need to do in the spiritual realm. So we need to ask the creator. So dear creator, we ask that your light and love surround and protect me always. We ask that a clear and open channel of communication be established now between me and the highest levels of love and wisdom. And we ask that all the information that I receive be for the greater good of all concerned. Thank you. Now I'd like you to imagine a golden cord of God or the Creator's light. And it's coming from your heart and it's spinning into a rope. And I want you to create a lasso and start swinging it overhead and combine it with all the participants that are now in this group. Combine it with my golden cord and everyone's golden cord and magically then send it to source. And once it's connected to source, just tell me by saying, okay. Good. Now I'd like you to take the other end of this golden thread and cord of the creator's light which is created into a rope. And I want you to start swinging it and tie it to the earth's frequency in order to connect yourself to the earth. And tell me when you have made that connection by saying, okay. Good. Now a final golden thread or golden rope of the creator's light is created. This time you will be sending it to the temple of divinity. So I want you to combine it with all the cords of this group so that we take all of us together at this time. So let's take a third rope of golden light that is created from our heart center and imagine it growing out of your heart and combine it with all the co-creators of the temple of divinity and all the participants now and send it to the temple. And when it's connected, just tell me by saying, okay. Wonderful. And so I'm just gonna bubble you guys all, I've already done that so that we can kind of go together. And to the ones that I've unmuted, do you see the Temple of Divinity? And what do you see? I see, I see um, pillars. Um, uh, I see it from the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still standing on the outside and I'm noticing some people are starting to go in. So just let's enter in, everybody. Even those stragglers in the back, there's lots of room. All you need to enter is a childlike curiosity and an open heart. And what does it look like inside? So now everyone has entered and I can feel everybody enter. So the gentlemen that have opened the microphone, what do you guys see from the inside? Just white. You're just watching? I see um, there's blue and gold. <laughs> it's, um, it's multi, like there's there's a bit going on in there. It's multi-dimensional. Mm -hmm. 
And our intention is for the activation of the hands of compassion. So let's ask for a guide to come forward to help activate the group with this amazing activation of the hands of compassion. What do you guys see? What do you feel? I see and feel a gold lit tall figure, maybe something like a scepter lit with gold light. For me, it's it's gold. It's a bit hard to tell if it's male or female. It's very gold and it's glowing. It's a it's a shaped kind of humanish though. But you can't see its face. Mm -hmm. Can you ask the guide to introduce themselves? Ask them their name. Just say it out loud. What is your name? I've got Haki. Mm -hmm. Hermes. Mm -hmm. What would you ask them? How, how are we supposed to conduct today's activation? What is the response that you get? I'm not getting one. Okay. Just a kind of a welcoming. That's all okay. I'm getting. What I'd like everybody to do is let's hold hands in a large circle. Yeah, it feels like this gentleman with the scepter is right in the middle. And we can also ask for Jesus to come in to assist us in terms of this activation as well. I felt his presence on the side, just paying attention and watching us. And each one of us is special. And I, I have a feeling that there's, for each one of you, you'll receive a particular gift that is specific to you to understand that you have been activated. I'm seeing crowns, I'm seeing rings. And I'd like you to just focus in on the energy of the activation of the item that was brought to you. These are spiritual gifts that will serve as frequency reminders for you to tap into when you are utilizing the hands of compassion. And I just, I just heard the words, you are blessed. And then I heard the words, miracles have come from this. And feel the waves of compassion energy. Do you feel the waves? I can feel Archangel Michael, he's here, Archangel Raphael, he's paying attention and is standing to the side. There may be one of you that requires a healing. If you require a healing in this place, this place is to heal the soul, heal the spirit, body and mind, just go ahead and receive that healing.
I'm I'm feeling uh, an expansion of your heart happening. Are you guys feeling that? And it feels like your heart is expanding outside your body and it's taking up more room. Now, I'm going to ask, this message just came through, for a convincer. In the next few days, at this time, um, uh, this is the message I got, is that you will see and receive a convincer, something that you have been activated. And what the idea of that, that's just permitted just to pop into your head, and that's going to be the, the convincer that you will recognize in the next few days in your conscious mind. And I'll remind you that this has taken place, that this is not your imagination. This is a definite activation that is happening. This activation will permit you to heal your heart and it will permit you to heal thousands. Are you feeling, are you guys feeling the energy just swirling in the room? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I see Archangel Michael working with someone. I can see Archangel Raphael paying attention to somebody. Now the focus is, I want you to focus in on your hands. You're going to feel the energy come to your hands from the spiritual gift that you received. And you might receive a tingling or you're going to receive like a, a throbbing to your hands. Just feel and allow that energy. Play with it. Allow it. And I'm getting the message also that you are being, you're feeling this compassion energy go through you. Some of you just permit yourself to cry. If you're feeling the tears, just allow them to exit. You are worthy. You are loved. You are witnessed. You are always witnessed. Just when you think that you're not, you are. Just feel the gentleness of this activation. This is a very gentle activation. However, it's extremely powerful activation. If you feel the power of Jesus, just permit his power, his humility, his compassion, just to bring that into your body, into your soul.
What other feelings are you guys experiencing? Like a quivering lip, like um, overwhelming, like uh, emotion. So just allow yourself to permit that compassion to just break that dam of emotions in you. Just allow it to come through. You're, you're, there's a safety net here. You're protected. You can be your true self. And by opening your heart, the healing will take place. Any other feelings, anything you see? Any quiverings in your body or feelings in your body? I'm getting the feeling some people have received bracelets. It's been, everyone is different. Everyone is receiving a special, significant spiritual gift specific to them. And you're amazed. I'm getting the message. You're amazed how well they know you. They know what you love. They witness you. I'm going to allow that just the energies to dissipate and I'd like you guys to just focus in now. There's a room off the main area called the Hall of Angels. And it's, it's a beautiful room with life-giving waters, holy water. So when you feel the energies kind of subside in the activation, make yourself kindly to this room Come in, relax. Some people describe it as a huge sauna. It's, it's got no ceiling, it's got the stars. There's waters, you can dip your toe in, you can dip your feet in. You can jump in if you feel like it. Have you gentlemen moved to the room? Yes. The Hall of Angels. What are you feeling in this room? Just um, space. There's not a lot of stress in here. Yeah, and just to stress, this is a place for us to just calm down after the activation, feel the energies, the frequencies of this place coming through you. There is a font of forgiveness. It's a special, it's like a fountain. If you're being directed to it, you can drink from it. This is forgiveness waters. They're extremely healing waters. And you can wash in it. You can drink from it. You might need to forgive somebody and just get it off your chest. And it's amazing how nourishing this, these waters are. I can see some people have jumped into the waters. So I'll give you just a few moments before we come back into our awareness just to feel the waters of this place. 
At this time, you might even be joined by an angel or a guide. They might come to you with a message or some guidance that's specific to you. All the all the entities, the higher beings working in this place have all been screened. They work on behalf of, of the creator and they're blessed with the divine feminine heart healing energies. So you don't have to test them. Just allow their love to guide you. They're so gentle. In meditation, and there are times when I just come up here and I spend an hour just hanging out in these waters. Feel the energy go through your body, the frequency, the healing energies of this place. Uh, I feel like everybody's had a good feeling for this place. So thank all the angels, the guides, Jesus, the Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael for coming and helping us with this activation. Now, in a moment, I want us to just start leaving slowly and at your convenience. We're going to be leaving the temple. And on the count of five, we're going to be coming back to our relaxation room where we're going to be combining our etheric or higher self body with our physical body. And we're moving away from the temple. One. We're moving lower and lower, and we're feeling unconditional love and non-judgment is lessening. Two, we're lower still. We're going lower and lower. We're getting heavier and heavier. And we're starting to feel the heaviness of the earthly realm. Three, we can see the cocoon. We can see the relaxation room in our sights, and the relaxation room is getting closer, and it's coming in closer. And four... We're just above this room. We're ready to integrate into our conscious mind and our physical body. And we're back in the room fully. So give yourself a moment to integrate the healings, the wisdoms, the talents, this activation and knowledge that you received in the spiritual realm to your physical body and your conscious mind. And when you've completed that fully, just say, okay. Okay, good. So now in a moment, we're going to move you back up to full awareness. And when you want to move back up to full awareness, you count yourself up from 10 up to one. On the count of one, not before, you'll take a deep breath, you'll open your eyes and you'll emerge completely from self-hypnosis. You'll be feeling fully alert and wonderful in every way. And because you're fully in control, you have the right to accept this activation, the wisdoms, the healings and knowledge that you've received in the spiritual realm or disregard anything that doesn't serve your greatest good or aligns with your purpose. So let's start moving away. 10, you're beginning to come up. Nine, you're coming up more and more now. <coughs> Eight, you're becoming aware of your physical body. Your fingers and toes are starting to wiggle. Seven, you start feeling your body gaining energy. Six, your conscious mind is beginning to awaken. Five, you're feeling the room and where you're located. Four, you start hearing sounds in the room or sounds outside the room. Three, you're becoming aware that you're here in the now. Two, we're nearly all the way up now. And one, you're fully awake, feeling wonderful all over, opening your eyes and emerging yourself completely from self-hypnosis, feeling alert and wonderful all over.
some of you got really relaxed. I love how you look now. Awesome. And some are just wanting to stay in that wonderful place. So just allow yourself to come back up when you're ready. There's no rush. No one's pushing you. And some of you are going, God, that was deep. <laughs> so before we experience this, let's put on some microphones. If you guys are willing to share what you saw, what you didn't see. If some people didn't see things, that's fine. This is a group meditation, a group hypnosis session. Um, if you practice, if you meditate, um, I meditate practically like a good hour and a half to two hours every day. So I'm always in the spiritual realm, but some of you may not experience that. So I figured I'd just open that up to the room and what did you share? Anyone's courageous enough to experience anything and share? Well, <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, who's that? I just Tracy. missed it. Tracy, thank you very much, Tracy. Yeah. What did you feel? What did you experience, Tracy? I, I was there with you all the way. So I went, I went all the way. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. It was just amazing. I could feel this. It was just love, this um, amazing mm -hmm. energy of love and, and like a healing energy and forgiveness at the end. I was in the water swimming. I was, <laughs> it was amazing. Okay. Did you feel um, the activation take in? Yeah, like, did, absolutely. Did you receive a particular spiritual gift? Yeah, I received an emerald, this huge emerald that I placed into my heart. Yeah, it was okay. amazing. Wonderful. And I, know, I know my guide. I communicate with my guide quite regularly, and she was there waiting for me as well. And I, I sensed Jesus and Michael, and yeah, I wasn't expecting to, to sense Jesus there because I'm not a particularly religious person, but yeah, absolutely. This, this has <laughs> nothing to do with religion. Okay? No, this I get that. <laughs> This is all love. You should yeah. have uh, kept your microphone open. Lee, yeah, what did yeah. you feel? I didn't really see anything. I, I felt waves of peace. <clears throat> and I felt like when I was in the temple, it was just white. And it was quite a lot. I saw like a mi white mist. Mm -hmm. But after that, I didn't really see anything. I just mm -hmm. felt waves of peace in my body. Understand um, that the more you experience, the more you practice this, the mm -hmm. more you grow right yes. and for, for yourself that might be the the the, the, the place you're at anybody anyone else ralph what did you feel you were well i i knew it was archangel archangel michael before you said it the first time i'm like what yeah i guess he is so it was a validation that that you were saying that my uh my gift was like a a red medallion for me and that the, the the healing or the activation was as if I could see light on the inside of my body, like shining in all the shadows. Okay, so kind of a, I, I want to expand on that. So what I have felt and seen when I'm doing that is that this golden energy, this light just starts going through the person. Mm -hmm. And you felt that, Benetta? Benetta is getting a yes. Can you unmute yourself and share. Yeah, so it was mainly sort of like this bright, bright light and in the middle was a figure and you couldn't really see exactly what that figure was, but you, you knew it was a figure and the light emanated from it and then came into me. So I sort of put my hands out and then the energy came through me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else feel anything? Yeah. But Justine, go, go I, ahead. Yeah, I am. Um, at first, I was feeling really confident and like thinking, wow, this is just giving me this confidence. And then this overwhelming feeling, feeling just came over me. I felt as though I was being guided the whole way through it by this golden woman. And she put her, her hands like, like that on me. It was just really, it was just very emotional. And, and then I didn't feel as though I got a gift, but I felt as though I was wrapped by two angels and they've given me this protection that when I walked away from them, that I, I took some of that with me. So yeah, it was just beautiful. 
Mm -hmm. Absolutely what, beautiful. What I, I, I felt um, people needing to let go and just let the tears come out. They kept okay. saying to me, it's not you. That's not you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. That's not yeah. you. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. It's just beautiful. Well, understand <laughs> also that the gift is alignment with your purpose. Yeah. So if you're you're at that stage where you need a particular kind of gift, I, I do a lot of work in healing. So they work very closely with me with that. And I, I was seeing crowns. I was seeing thick bracelets being put on people. Okay. And then you mentioned, Tracy, about the emerald. Okay. Anyone else want to share? Okay. Francis, go ahead. Jump in. Um, yeah, for me, um, uh, I don't know if it was sort of a gift, but I could really sense this overwhelming uh, emotion of love. And um, it was also forgiveness um, towards myself and others. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, yeah. so what I'd like to do now is the people who kind of, of the people who have received the gift that you really kind of either felt a gift or received the gift, can I get a show of hands? And what we'll do is we'll kind of like uh, get, get you into groups. Okay, Eleni, now you'll have to, try to help organize some of the groups okay mm -hmm. so we have tracy we have tony we have nicole jan ralph chris good i was concerned that you jumped out and you were in if you would what did you receive what did you have i was given a um cube a crystal crystal cube and it was mm -hmm. quite solid and sharp edges but but mm -hmm. I was guided to lift it up to my face. So when I lifted it up to my face, it turned to water. Mm -hmm. And then it just washed right down my spine. And then I looked and it was a golden cloak. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a lot of images of gold in this. Mm -hmm. Because I'm getting uh, that's a very consistent image with this compassion thing. So now what I'd like to do is probably like uh, just who are the people that don't feel they've received a gift i don't want those two to be kind of combined in we're going to like break out into rooms so that now you can kind of go into the energy and send the energy to another person and feel with it and practice it so who feels that they didn't receive anything okay so we have lee justine okay sophie did you feel something like there's two of you there's two of you did sophie receive something or whatever okay you don't know you don't know okay because what i would say is maybe sophie can you practice with your partner of sending um, them energy Tara, Tara, so i'm not sure we're going to have time for practice because we're going to like this there'll be q a time as well so okay. because this meetup finishes in 20 minutes all together and i need the last five minutes so we really only got another 15 minutes Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure that uh, breakout rooms, like there'll be time. Like I've already set up the breakout rooms, but to actually match people up according to their hands is too difficult. But okay. I can send people to breakout rooms, say for a few minutes, if you like. Let's, let's try that. I, okay, now let me explain how you're going to do that. Okay, so before we get into the breakout rooms, what you, what you need to do is you basically are going to just permit your ground grounding yourself to your earth's frequency i want you to clear your mind i want you to start remembering that compassion energy that came through and you can use the spiritual gift that you received to kind of get you into that memory and then just tap into source okay or jesus if you believe in jesus that's fine tap into source and then just send that compassion energy to the other person that is on the other side then after once you're done you have to kind of like close off the energy and the way to close off the energy is you kind of have to move laterally you want to brush your arms down it's kind of very similar to reiki but you want to just brush your arms down and permit it like kind of each side just to permit that energy to seep out of you because otherwise you're still connected to it yeah. Okay, does that make sense? Can, can I make a suggestion that if you haven't received a gift, that you just imagine what gift you did receive, because it's the same thing. 
So just imagine, use your imagination. Would that be okay, Taras? Yeah. But yeah. Imagination is the frequency that I'm working on. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Because it's just like your dream. You're you're thinking, did it happen? Did it not happen? So we're focusing on that imagination, that frequency. Yeah. Okay? Perfect. So, so what I'll do is, so is everyone clear what they need to do? Um, so Katerina and Amber, I've put you in a group with three because I wasn't sure if you can join, but everybody else has got two. And uh, you just share the compassion. And then like Taras said, at the end of it. Yeah, just, just move it down your five. It's, you've got to do it like five times. Okay, just move the energy off just to clear the energy off of you. Okay, because otherwise you're just going to be continuing to be connected. Okay, and just do the task. Don't discuss other things because we've only got a few minutes and then I'll bring sure. you back into the main room. So opening the rooms now. Uh, Taras, you don't need to join. It's just that um, I put you in a group of three, but you don't need to join, obviously, mm -hmm. unless you want to. Sure, why not? Okay, everybody will be back in... 51 seconds. <laughs> Oops. That's good. Seven seconds. And we're done. Oh, there's Taras. I was wondering where he was. There you are. And you, that was awesome. We just finished up with Joy and and who was it maxine maxine you're awesome joy do you want to share just the experience you had just to kind of explain to everybody what experience unmute yourself just share we maxine and i sent sent compassion energy to joy mm, beautiful did not oh we can hear you. all of that oh can you hear me now yeah go ahead i wasn't expecting that um are those tears i see it, it, no yes <laughs> um i haven't i haven't received anything from my dad in a very long time and i've missed him for a very long time so mm -hmm. i appreciate that and i i really 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 appreciate the gift of the heart because i i need help Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, your witness. Actually, what happens with the compassion energy is it's a vortex of compassion energy that comes in that deceased loved ones or even current loved ones, they start being attracted to it and they feel it and they came in and I saw your dad come in and he's he he felt like he he was really he uh, like he looked after himself. He was proud to look after himself. His hair is perfect and everything. A very accomplished gentleman. So it was nice to see him come in. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Taras, what we'll move to is to see if there's any questions um, is what we'll move to. So does anybody, we're not going to, we may not be able to answer all questions, but put your hand up if you have a question. And um, yes, Lee. Go ahead, Lee. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to unmute yourself. When Taras asked me if I had a gift, I thought you meant like an object, which is what some of the people were saying, but it, it wasn't. It was like, I, I feel like my whole being has gone completely light and I've lost my density. Beautiful. It's wonderful. Beautiful. That's, 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 that's certainly a gift. Yes, I accept that. 
Yeah, that's beautiful, Lee. Thank you yeah, for sharing. Th the key thing, Lee, is just to focus in on that, like on that feeling. Yes. And what what will happen is that when you are giving the hands of compassion, you just allow it to start processing, and then suddenly you'll feel it flow. All right. And give it a few seconds, and then bang! When you feel it flow, it's flowing, and it okay. flows like starts like a trickle, and then it's like a two inch pipe, push, and it's going through. And then what I do, as in Joy's case, is I ask the client, well. I'm feeling this energy going more toward your stomach. Why is that? And then they they communicate and they explain to me why, right? And then I'm noticing that uh, ancestors start coming in. So I didn't know that I was uh, like a psychic medium until I started doing all this work. Mm -hmm. And within the last six months, my um, abilities have increased exponentially, you know, in this area. So um, one thing, if you are doing it in per person, please, like I have a number of people, even within the Temple of Divinity group, they have loved ones that have Alzheimer's. You can send this compassion energy to your mom. And all you have to do is just like hold their hand. You know, they might not even be cognizant and you send them the compassion energy and you will find that their behavior changes because they will receive this amazing feeling. They're just gonna get really calm, or I call it a good bong rip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Is there any more questions? Go ahead, Persis. Um, so I kind of don't remember what happened, and I just suddenly woke up with a big red heart. <laughs> Go um, on. I I'm not sure whether you said expand your heart and that's when i kind of woke up before that i can't remember a thing except okay. for being um overlooking the valley and that's it and then you were out it, yeah. it's practice it's practice that's the thing is it's practice awesome so if anybody has any other questions you'll be able to contact taras taras how can they contact you and how can they connect in with you if they want to do more work with you Okay, obviously, I have my own website called T Machula, just like my the first letter T, M A C H U L A dot com. So you can get my email there, all the information. Also, Eleni, we're sending everybody um, the activation. There's there's a few rules on how to activate and work with it with this activation. So we give you uh, some rules on how to do it in the spiritual realm, also how to do it in distance healing. As, as you can see with Joy's experience, you felt it. it with the others, I wanted to just, uh, okay, I'll, I'll continue. On, on these sheets, we have my information, my specific information on how to get a hold of me. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit about what I'm doing now. I have led already three Temple of Divinity class practitioner classes. And what they are is they're, you, you learn how to work in the spiritual realms, but specifically with the Temple of Divinity. And the Temple of Divinity is an easy place to work because you don't have to, um, you don't have to ask everybody who's there uh, if they're working for God's love and light. They're all there. They're doing their, they're there to expand uh, that heart center. And it's in real in alignment with a lot of the work that you're doing with the heart abundance circle. So, and this place is for everyone. There's no, you don't have to pay a fee to get in. You can just enter yourself. You can enter as long as you have an open heart and and a curiosity if you have an entity you can't enter and, and the other day i actually did a lot of spirit releasement therapy too for someone to help them out um so i've already done three um three temple of divinity practitioner uh trainings and it's 60 hours with 30 hours of specific uh in the hypnosis so we go into a deep dive into past lives into parallel lives we do things like we jump all together into someone's past life and we explore also parallel lives because that's what they show. And in the Temple of Divinity, there's a number of portals to be able to explore that. The place is just amazing and there's so much to share. Um, a big message that's coming through is, is dealing with trauma and working with trauma. I shared with the interview with Eleni about removing trauma and it's another activation that I received 
on how to remove trauma in the spiritual realm because my understanding is if if you heal the spirit and the trauma shows up like a big black mass and it's so easy to work with the divine and permit the divine to do i call it the heavy lifting they do all the heavy lifting and you don't have to worry about you don't have to go into the trauma you don't have to relive the trauma you don't have to go to the first uh, initial sensitizing event of it or anything you don't have to dissociate from it they remove the trauma and then all you have to do is just test and you test the client tests afterwards they and they're gone so i i applaud you for this please if you have any questions reach out i'm more than happy to share more than happy to teach my role is basically what what my role is to spread love by teaching people how to heal other people's hearts and the more more we can get more teachers out there teaching others how to heal more hearts i think we're going to have a, a beautiful world that's it it's all about that it's all about the heart and it's all about connecting into the heart so thank you so much tadas it's a wonderful session today we mm -hmm. really appreciate your time and and I know that if I if I allowed the the time, you would have been here even longer because that's the, that's the person that you are is that you just want to give so much and you're so giving. So I really appreciate you and all the work that you do. Um, thank you so much. Really, really, thank really you. grateful. You, um, let's get a um, let's get a if we can get a, a picture, guys. Um, maybe with a heart symbol. If we all do like the heart symbol. <laughs> Um, do you do that? yay like that that's awesome i can't so i'm gonna because i'm i'm using one of my hands so i'll just touch my heart and one two three yay awesome so let me quickly tell you about our next month's speaker um so lisa brandis is an intuitive reiki master she's also a channel and she does channel um as well she's a clinical hypnotherapist and nlp practitioner speaker mentor and teacher highly sought after for her practical spiritual teachings transformative energy healings and classes she holds a vision to inspire educate and empower others to make a difference in the world exactly like taras lisa has taught thousands of students and brings 20 years of dedicated experience with reiki and intuition to support and create great connections in the community i have put the link in the chat in terms of the next meetup and the intuition component of Lisa's teaching makes learning intuitive Reiki, Reiki so valuable. Energy healing with strong guidance is so valuable, a very great tool, you know, for your, for your business and your life. And the meetup title is called How to Harness the Power of Intuitive Reiki to Heal and Uplevel Your Life. And there's going to be two gifts as well that you get. So you will learn how Reiki can help you to increase your intuition awaken or deepen your connection with your inner guidance and take your hypnotherapy sessions to the next level you will learn how to release resistance and increase happiness to up level your life increase your intuition to create better connections and how to help others and you will also be receiving two gifts um, which were really really um, lovely of lisa to offer so the link is in the chat and please, um, it's going to be an awesome session as well. And if you know anybody, just pass on the link because it's $15 for 48 hours only. It's the early bird. And now what I would like is for everybody just to unmute themselves and just to give a big clap to Taras once again for his time. Thanks, um, thank you. Thank you, Taras. Thanks, Taras. Thank you, Taras. And thank you to everybody for coming here today. Really appreciate you from all thank over you. the world. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 And kisses Bye. from friends. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Kisses, Victor. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.